What's up guys? I get about 10 phone calls a day and I'm not joking about guys asking how, how to diagnose their engine. One of the most common things that I find is people trying to diagnose a bad cylinder head. And I'm going to give you guys three ways you can tell if your cylinder head is bad and how to proceed from that point on. So one of the number one signs that you have a bad cylinder head or a cylinder head gasket has been blown out is that your heaters will not be working. Of course you want to confirm that the heater core is good, but if your heaters are coming on and off where the air is getting warm and cold, that's a telltale sign that your head gasket is bad. Another sign is that you're going to have exhaust gases coming out of your coolant reservoir. And you will also have pressure from your coolant reservoir or you'll be pushing coolant out of the overflow. And another sign is that you're going to have coolant actually coming out of your exhaust system. You'll be burning white smoke and you'll actually start to smell um, coolant in the air as your truck is idling. So those are pretty, pretty good signs that your head gasket or cylinder head has failed. And what you're going to want to do from that point is obviously find a credible shop that is going to be able to remove that cylinder head and diagnose whether it is a cylinder head or the head gasket. And then you're going to want to give highway and heavy parts a call and give them your engine serial number and tell them the problem that you're having, tell them what parts you need, and they're going to take care of you 100%. And then you just tell them what shipping you want. They're going to get it delivered out. They're going to warranty that cylinder head for one year, unlimited mileage. 